everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today I want to discuss with all of you what I think are the best properties to purchase in GT Online in 2020. So let's just get straight into it. I'm going to be starting with the most important purchase first and then I'm going to work my way down the list to the least important last. So let's just start at number one. Uh, number one, it has to be the CEO office. This has to be, in my opinion, the most important business that you can purchase in GTA. It gives you access to a number of different features, including the CEO businesses like the vehicle warehouse and also the special cargo missions. But it also allows you to become a CEO, which allows you to call in a buzzard and uh, a number of other really good vehicles straight from the interaction menu. There is also a number of upgrades for the office. The only one that I would definitely recommend is the living quarters because if you have the living quarters that allows you to spawn in your office and nine times out of ten you will be going to your office when you load into a GT Online session. So if you can spawn there straight away it cuts down on that travel time. And at number two, we have probably the other most important business, and that is the Biker MC Clubhouse. And I'm also going to tie in the cocaine lockup and also the methamphetamine lab. If you have these two businesses along with the clubhouse, you can make a lot of money in GTA very, very quickly. But the clubhouse also gives you a number of abilities like the CEO office does. Obviously, it allows you to become a Biker MC President, which allows you to call in your personal bike from wherever you are instantly. There's no cooldown time for your mechanic to deliver it. You can just spawn in a bike instantly. And obviously, bikes are a great way to travel around a map. They're very small and they're very quick. So that is a really good ability. And it also allows you to return your personal vehicle to storage. There are a few upgrades for the MC Clubhouse. The one that I would definitely recommend is the personal workshop. So you can customize your bikes in your MC Clubhouse. It saves you having to travel all the way to the custom shop. You can just go straight into your custom shop and customize those bikes. At number three, we have one of the newer businesses and this is the Arcade. And I hear you saying, well, the Arcade is not that great a business. It doesn't really provide that much money, and you're right, it doesn't. But what the arcade does allow you to do is complete the Diamond Casino heist, which can make you quite a lot of money. It's a very simple um, heist to do. It doesn't take a lot of time. There are a couple of setups, as there are always. Um, but whilst you're doing this, the arcade does generate you a bit of money for absolutely nothing. So like the nightclub works, which we'll discuss in a moment, the arcade has a safe in the office and over time that will slowly generate money without you even having to do anything. All you have to do is be online and it will generate you money. Now it's not a lot of money, the safe can only hold up to 50,000, but every time it gets full and you empty it, you have an extra 50,000 and over time that can add up to a lot of money and obviously it does also provide you with access to complete the diamond casino heist which is a lot of fun and it can also make you a lot of money. At number four we have the nightclub and I hear you saying well why wasn't this higher up on the list? Well the nightclub has a very high purchase price compared to the other businesses because there are a lot of upgrades for the nightclub. Some of them aren't that great, some of them are. The ones I would recommend is go for the full maximum storage for the business side of it. And you might as well take use of the uh, garage space as well. I'd recommend buying all the garage slots, especially if you are a car collector like myself. The uh, nightclub uh, garages are very cool. They're a nice little location. And for this one, I'd recommend getting one in the city. There are a couple dotted around. Um, I'd try and get one close to your office, wherever you might decide to purchase it. I've bought the one at Vespucci Beach, and that is in a pretty good central location. It's quite a nice location. 
And why would I recommend you, that you buy the nightclub? Well, as I just mentioned, the nightclub generates free cash for you. You don't have to do anything for the nightclub. As long as you are online, the nightclub will generate you product. And then once your product gets full, you can obviously go ahead and sell it. And the best thing about the nightclub is it can be done fairly solo. You don't really need any other players to help you with the nightclub business because all of your product gets shipped into one vehicle. So you only need one driver to deliver it. Now you might want a friend to help you deliver it um, just to cover you in case there's any griefers or anyone trying to steal your product. Uh, now there are a number of setup missions for the nightclub but once you get it all up and running it can generate you a lot of money quickly. And the last property we have on this list is the facility. Now the facility is not the best um, property to buy in the game, but it does allow you access to the Doomsday Heist, much like the arcade. You have to own a facility to be able to complete the Doomsday Heist. Now you can obviously join a friend to complete the Doomsday Heist, but if you want to get the perks of completing it, such as the cash rewards and also the free remove cops from Leicester, then you have to own the facility yourself. You need to be the heist leader. And also the facility does allow storage for a number of special vehicles, including the Avenger which I'm going to be talking about in my next video, is one of the best vehicles to own in GTA. It works much like the MOC, but it is a flying version, so it's technically better in my opinion. And to own that vehicle, you have to own the facility. So the facility, in my opinion, is a must-own item. As with all the other businesses, there are a number of upgrades to choose from. The only one I would recommend, like the office, is the personal headquarters because this allows you to spawn in your facility so if you're completing the Doomsday Heist it can speed up that travel time across the map. But that's going to do it for this list, it's a very short one today, I hope you did find it useful though. If you are a new player in GTA Online then I would definitely recommend that you purchase an office. As I'm recording this video, the offices are 60% off. So I would definitely recommend that you go and purchase one if you haven't already. Or if you're a longer time player of GTA and you don't own some of these businesses, then definitely look into it. Even if you're not a grinder, it can be quite useful to make a bit of money, especially if you're saving up for the latest DLC. But that's going to do it for this video, thank you all so much for watching, hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video.